today on Nebraska Woodster, we got ourselves a find. Stick with me. Here we go. Hey, Woodsters. My name is Mike. Welcome back. For all of those joining, welcome. All right. Today, like I said, we got ourselves a find here. My way to work here the last uh, couple of uh, months, I've been watching this old grove getting taken out, an old farm place being taken out. And yesterday I noticed that uh, everything's up in a pile. Typically when they get thrown into a pile, it's just a jumbled up mess. But noticed as I drove through here and yesterday I came up, took a little closer look at it. But as you can see here, all this ash sitting here on the outside of the pile, be easy pickings. So there's about three different piles here. So there's a pile of ash in this pile right here. I'm gonna walk over here. Some of that's some pretty good sized stuff. Lots of finger wood in there. <clears throat> we'll probably just uh, buck it up here and then bring it back, uh, bring it back to the wood yard. And, and so finger wood for sure. This pile here is uh, mainly ash. A little bit uh, easier stuff to get to, and I'll show you down here, there's another pile. There's a fair amount of good maple in there and, and not real big stuff, so some easy getting uh, on that pile too. So I uh, went and talked to the landowner yesterday and he said, sure, give her hell. And he said, uh, well, first snow that flies, they're going, they're gonna get burned. So the clock is ticking. So anyway, that's what we got. Hell of a good find. Now let's get it. Well, I forgot to hit record when I moved the camera, so I'll let you guys use your imagination on just how much fun I was having cutting this up. So, get around to the other side of the pile and out of the sun here. A lot of good straight ash there. Quite a few pieces uh, to get bucked up. So, the other find when I was out here, and I've seen some of you uh, out there use this, out by the old house, there's uh, some kiddos that left some uh, chalk. So marking at 16 inches, another nice little find. So anyway, I was just sitting here thinking as I was cutting, uh, things are gonna get start getting pretty real here. I seen in the forecast, we're going to get down to 15 degrees on Monday night or Tuesday morning, I believe. So fireplaces will get fired up and uh, that'll get people a little bit excited about uh, burning wood here for heat. So. 
Um, didn't get a whole lot done yesterday because mainly I saw that and I thought about my camper and uh, that needed to come home. I don't have time to fix all those pipes uh, at a later date. So the other thing kind of thinking about is my wood, bo wood boiler. I don't typically fire that up till fall, but 17 degrees has me a little nervous. So may just start a fire in there and get the water jacket and the water warmed up around it um, just to kind of hold it over. It's not going to stay cold for very long, but uh, a couple mornings of 17 degrees, fittings don't like that. So Anyway, got a couple other things to do today. We'll get back at this. We got to go uh, get some uh, mowing done. Uh, we've got a youth mentor hunt. Uh, some kiddos coming in next weekend where we take them out pheasant hunting, plant birds for them, but we got to go mow some uh, trails. So it uh, makes it a little bit easier to plant birds and uh, get the kiddos through there. So uh, we're going to go do that here quick, and then we'll be back here at the ash pile. Not the ash hole, ash pile. Here we go.
had a good little session. Got that loaded up in Sassman's pickup, the big rounds. Got a nice little charge here as well. So we're gonna go home and uh, put the splitter to this and uh, then do some testing because I'm not convinced that this stuff isn't uh, pretty dry. So we've got a customer that needs some bigger stuff. So we're going to uh, see if we can make this work. So we'll put a tester to it and we'll find out. But thanks for joining along today. Thanks for your support. You guys know the program. Like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the flip side.